Our most active weather, per se, meaning heavy rain, strong, severe thunderstorms, and heavy snow. Basically, the eastern and western thirds of the nation. So be weather aware. We'll talk about severe weather first. Marginal to slight risk. Isolated to scattered storms will be possible near Washington, D.C. and surrounding areas if you're in those dark color shades. Mainly damaging winds, but can't rule out some brief tornadic or large hail activity out there today. And our nation is soaked from coast to coast is where essentially our heaviest of the rain is going to be over the next couple of days. Two to four inches with locally heavier amounts for spots like New York City, Hartford, Providence, Boston. So we have flash flood watches out basically late this afternoon through much of Tuesday there. Remember to turn around, don't drown there. And from coast to coast, still watching for potentially heavy rain west of the Cascade Mountains in the Pacific Northwest. The heaviest of the rain? Probably be along the western foothills, the Sierra Nevada Mountains of California. Flash flood watches are there, potentially over a foot of rain and three feet of snow in the Sierra Nevada Mountains above 7,000 feet of elevation. Traveling will be very difficult. If we get heavy rain over dry land, over burn scar areas, that water is not going to soak in the ground. It's going to fly over it. So really got to remember to turn around, don't drown in those areas. Out in the Intermountain West, we'll have a lot of strong winds as well. Gusts between 40, 50 plus miles per hour near the Las Vegas area. Certainly possible as that cold front slices through with the areas of rain and mountain snow. Out east in New York City, heavy rain expected tomorrow. Area low pressure could actually linger through the middle of the week.